And let me say, welcome to E.T. Family. Amen. Right Hallelujah. Where we say God is good all the time, and all the time God is so good, and where the sun never stops shining. And you all know by now, I'm not talking about the S-U-N, but the S-O-N. Amen. And we have a word for you on this morning in Hosea chapter 3 and verse number 1. The Bible says, then said the Lord unto me, go yet, love a woman, beloved of her friend, yet an adulteress, according to the love of the Lord towards the children of Israel, mm -hmm. who look to other gods, yes, oh my Lord, and love flagons of wine. Giving honor to God who sent his son, Jesus Christ, to yes. die on the cross of Calvary for all of our sins. And we thank God for the wonderful testimony that he hung, he, hung. he, bled. he bled, he died. He died. But on the third day, third day, he got up from the grave. Yes, sir. And that's good news. We want to use as a subject title on this morning, Take Me Back, Amen. Ah. Hallelujah. Somebody on. shout, take me back. Take Amen. Me back. Take me back. That's all right. And then I want to share a Latin word with you this morning. I have a love of words. And it says, multum in parvo. Amen. And, and you guys can Google that and say, pronounce multum in parvo. And you discover that I mispronounced it. Amen. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, that Latin word means much in a little space. Much Amen. In a little space. Much in a little space. Yes, sir. Hosea chapter 3 has only five verses. But the Holy Spirit says so much in a little space. And I don't want you to miss it. Chapter 3 of Hosea in the Hebrew text consists of only 81 words mm -hmm. in Hebrew. If you were to look at it in, in the Hebrew text, there's only 81 Hebrew words. Chapter 3 takes its place amongst the greatest of prophetic announcements in the whole revelation of God's word. This chapter that we're about to look at is a very, very important chapter in the word of God. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, you need to keep Hosea chapter 3 in your arsenal of God's word in your scriptural knowledge, you need to be aware of chapter 3 of Hosea. Mm -hmm. Hosea, with skillful and quick lines by the power of the Holy Spirit, paints in clear terms the complete picture of Israel's national history. Mm -hmm. Just in those 81 words in Hebrew. Multum mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and pavo. Amen. Right. Much in a little space. As a matter of fact, the fourth verse of Hosea chapter 3, and I would you look there, is a very important verse. It says, For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king and without a prince uh -huh. and without a sacrifice mm -hmm. and without an image and without an ephod and without teraphim. This verse is one of the surest proofs of the divine origin of prophecy and the divine origin of the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Bible 
is inspired, beloved. Yes, sir. Because all of the, all of the things stated comes to pass. A perfect prophetic picture of Israel entire history. Mm-hmm. You all pray with me. With you, with you. Hosea chapter 3 is like Romans chapter 11. God makes known his plans and dealings past, mm-hmm. present, and future with Israel. Yes, sir. God is not through with Israel. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you this morning that God is not through with you yet. (laughs) Mm -hmm. (laughs) Can I go there this morning? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor, Mm -hmm. God is not through with you yet. God is not through with you yet. Tell your other neighbor, neighbor, Neighbor. oh neighbor. neighbor. God's not through with me yet either. Amen. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Beloved, if you look at Romans chapter 11 and verse number 1, the Bible says, I say then, has God cast away his people? God forbid. Come on now. Come on now. For I also am an Israelite. Yes, sir of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. Yes, sir. Does your Bible that? Yes, sir. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. oh neighbor, God is still working on you. God is still working on you. Uh, tell your other neighbor, 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 God is not through with you yet. God is not through with you yet. God has a plan just for you. Yes, he does. God has a great plan just for you. Yes, he does. And then I want to say to you this morning and kind of follow up what I said with you last time that God loves you with an endless love. love. I'm going to say that one more time. God loves you with an endless love. Am I right about it? Mm -hmm. And God has not given up on you that ought to make somebody excited this morning yes 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 if you look with me again at Hosea chapter 3 and verse number 1 I want to read that in the NIV version the Lord said to me go show your love to your wife again somebody shout again again though she is loved by by another come on somebody let's break it down down. and is an adulteress love her as the Lord loves the Israelites somebody ought to talk to me this morning though they turn to other gods and love the sacred raisin cakes go show your love to your wife again God tells Hosea although Hosea has found that his wife has been unfaithful Hosea is commanded to love Gomer again Uh, to love her again despite what she has done and, and in spite of what she had been doing Uh, that is love your wife again Hosea loved Gomer though she had been unfaithful to him this love despite the hallelujah despite all that had happened in their lives is like the love of God yes sir Though Israel had been unfaithful, God still loves Israel. God still loves his people. I I gotta preach to y'all this morning. Uh, Despite the United States of America, unfaithfulness to God, 
God still loves America. Some of you this morning may be looking at your life and and you know that you have messed up and and you feel that there's no chance again i got a word to you from heaven this morning god still loves you despite what you have done in spite of what you've been into in spite of how you've been treating him it's time to come home come on, come can on. i go there this morning yes, i got a backup for you this morning john chapter 3 and verse 16 the bible says for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have what? Everlasting. Everlasting life. Can I go there this morning? Romans chapter 5 and verse number 8 says, And, and God commendeth his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Yes, sir. Is that love right there? Yes, God says, in essence, to Hosea, now you know how I feel. <laughs> Y'all better come on here this morning. Mm -hmm. Gomer has been unfaithful to you. And Israel has been unfaithful to me. Gomer has been an, un an adulteress. Help me, Holy Ghost. Israel has been an adulteress. The nation has been unfaithful to me like Gomer has been unfaithful to you. Can I go there this morning? You're hurting this morning. And I'm hurting this morning. You're disappointed this morning. On, and I'm disappointed this morning. But love, I need some help this morning. But love, love, but love, love, you are to love her again. Like I'm going to love Israel again. You ought to, come on somebody. You got to take her back again. Like I'm going to take Israel back again. But I'm going to punish her. But one day, I'm going to bring her back to my house again. I'm going to take her back again. Gomer's unfaithfulness portrayed Israel rejection of God I hope you are not rejecting the Lord this morning he's calling you this morning he's calling you back to his household this morning if you've been unfaithful to God this morning hear the call of God saying I want you back this morning can I go there this morning this lesson is about God's great love for Israel despite her gross unfaithfulness despite her idolatry despite her sinfulness despite her rejecting God rejecting the Lord she she chose Caesar rather than Jesus Help me somebody. She shows Barabbas rather than Jesus. Yes, she shows the world rather than the Lord. Yes, God tells Hosea, take her back again. Not only take her back again, I want you to love her again. God lets Hosea know that God's love is an endless love. Can I back it up this morning? Yes, Dr. Jackson, can I back it up back this it up, morning? Up. Oh, Brother Russell, can I back it up this morning? Sister Neal, can I back it up this morning? Oh, Hudson, can I back it up this morning? Dr. Dove, can I back it up this morning? Up. I got a word this morning. It's Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse number 3. The Bible says, The Lord has appeared of old unto me saying, yea, I have loved thee with an everlasting love. Somebody shout everlasting love. 
Uh, that's not a sometime in love. Uh, that's not a love just because you treat me right, I love you. Oh. This, this is a love despite what you've done. I still love you anyhow. Therefore, with loving kindness have I drawn thee. Does your Bible say that this morning? God told Hosea that Israel is engraven on my hands. Oh, I got to back that up this morning. So I got you engraving on my palms. <laughs> In other words, I see you all the time. Can I back it up this morning? Hosea chapter 49 and verses 15 and 16. The Bible says, can a woman forget her sucking child <laughs> that she should not have compassion on the son of her womb? Yea, they may forget, yet will I not forget thee. Can I go there? Behold, I have graven thee upon the palms of my hands. Thy walls are continually before me. Does your Bible say this morning? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor, oh neighbor. God got his eyes on you. Am I right about it? God won't forget his people. That's a word for somebody this morning. God won't forget you. No matter what you've done this morning, God has not forgotten you. Some of you may have messed up this morning, but God has not forgotten you. God wanted Hosea to know that Israel is the apple of his eyes. Can I back it up this morning? I got back up this morning. On, well, on. if you look at Zechariah, help me, Holy Ghost, chapter 2 and verse number 8. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, after the glory has he sent me unto the nation which spoiled you? For he that touches you, y'all don't hear me, hear you, touches the apple of his eyes. Is that all right? all right? Tell your neighbor, neighbor, oh neighbor, oh, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. I'm the apple of the Lord's eyes. On, Can I go there? Yes, sir. Anybody who messes with you messing with is God. messing with the Lord. Can I go there this morning? Don't mess with me. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. You don't know who you're messing with. God told Abraham, I'll curse those who curse you. I'll bless those who bless you. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Oh, neighbor. I got back up this morning. You're not alone. God is on your side. Can I back it up this morning? I heard David say, David say. in Psalms 35, yes, in verse number one, help me, Holy Ghost, plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Yes, Can I go there? Fight against them that fight against me. Can I break that down? The battle's not yours. Y'all didn't hear me this morning. The battle's not yours. The battle is the Lord. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm the apple of the Lord's eye. Can I go there this morning? Touch not my anointed. Do my prophet no harm. Because I am the apple of the Lord's eyes. Can I go deep this morning? Even though Israel had long disobedience towards God, God still rebuked Satan for Israel's sake. Because Israel is the apple of his eyes. Can I go there this morning? God will fight your battle if you be still. Can I go there this morning? Zechariah chapter 3, 
Verse number two, the Bible says, and the Lord said unto Satan, the Lord rebuked thee. Oh, Satan, even the Lord, watch it now, that has chosen Jerusalem, rebuked thee. Is not this a brand plucked out of the fire? Can I go there? The Lord rebuked Satan for his people. Can I go there? God is not through with you yet. God has a salvation plan for you. God has a redemption plan for you. God has a pick me up just for you. God has a way of bringing you out of sin, out of bondage, out of slavery, out of adultery, out of idolatry, out of worldliness. God has a plan just for you. Can I back it up this morning? I got back up this morning. Dr. Jackson, I got back up. Neil, I got back up. Russell, I got back up. Dr. Dove, I got back up. Can I go there this morning? Hosea chapter 3, verse number 2. The Bible says, hallelujah. Hosea chapter 3 and verse 2. So I besought her. Hallelujah, excuse me. So I bought her. <laughs> I bought her to me. Yes, sir. Come on, somebody. Come on. I wasn't buying her for everybody. I bought her back for me, Russell. I, so I bought her to me for 15 pieces of silver and for a homer of barley and for a half homer of barley. All right, all right. Can I break it down? Hosea paid 15 pieces of silver for Gomer's redemption. The price of a common slave was 30 pieces of silver. So she had so lowered herself to a plane that she wasn't even worth 30 pieces of silver. The common price for a common slave Ooh. The Homer, help me, Holy Come Ghost, of oh, the barley. Hey. Barley was animal food. Right. She was even worth animal food. She was worthless now. Nothing do does more damage to an individual than when they get away from God. They're not worth anything. No. Can I go there this morning? Can I go there this morning? Nothing is more damaging than when a man gets away from God. Can I go there this morning? Nothing is more damaging than when a man thinks he can do without God. Can I go there this morning? Nothing is more damaging than when a man thinks he's smarter than God. Can I go there this morning? Nothing is more damaging than when a man says there is no God. Can I go there this morning? Nothing's more damaging than when a man feels that he can sin and get away with it. Right. Commit idolatry and get away with it. Nothing's more harmful than when a man thinks he can live without God. Give God a hand of praise this morning. Well, Gomer isn't worth very much now. The, when the world got through with her. Dr. McGee says, quote, possibly Gomer had sold herself to some racketeers. All right. <laughs> Help me, Holy oh, Ghost. <laughs> who were running a brothel. And Hosea had to go down there and buy her back again. Some commentators feel that she had become a temple prostitute. And she had to be bought back again. A price had to be paid for her freedom. A price had to be paid for her redemption. She couldn't just walk away. Somebody had to pay for her. Yes, sir. Uh, somebody else owned her. She was a slave. She had another master. Come on, somebody. 
if she was going to be freed, she had to be paid for. There was a price for her redemption. There was a price for her freedom. She would have to be bought back in order to be brought back. I'm going to say that one more time. She would have to be bought back in order to be brought back. Oh, we have been redeemed. <laughs> we have been bought back to be brought back. The first thing we need to do in order to get back is that we have to confess that we are sinners before God. Am I right about it? Can I back it up this morning? Well, Romans chapter 3 and verse 23. The Bible says, For all have sinned. Am I right about it? Yes, sir. And come short of the glory of God. Am I right about it? Romans chapter 3 and verse 12 says, Well, they all, hallelujah, gone out of the way. Am I right about it? They are all together become unprofitable. Yes, sir. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. No, not one. <laughs> Am I right about it? Yes, sir. Just as Hosea had to buy this harlot back, God had to buy us back. Am I right about it? <laughs> Can I back it up this morning? First Peter chapter 1 and verses 18 and 19. Uh, the Bible says, For as much as ye know that ye were not redeemed with corruptible things, as silver and gold, from your vain conversation, received by tradition from your fathers. Can I go there this morning? But with the precious blood of Christ, as of a lamb without blemish, and without spot. Does your Bible say that this morning? Jesus told Nicodemus, Nicodemus, you must be. You got to be born again. Paul said, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. Can I go there this morning? All things have passed away. And behold, all things have become new. Hosea responded obediently to God. He took her back. He took Gomer back. He loved her again. He paid the price for her redemption. He paid the price for her freedom. He paid the price for her restoration. He paid the price for her joy again. I'm so glad that Hosea responded obediently. But I'm more glad this morning that Jesus responded obedient. Yes, sir. On the cross of Calvary. He died for my sins yes, sir. and your sins too. Can I back it up this morning? I got some help this morning. I feel my help coming this morning. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse number 2. The Bible said, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, yes, despising the shame, is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Does your Bible say that this morning? I'm so glad that Jesus paid the price for our redemption. Jesus paid the price for our freedom. Jesus paid the price for our new life. Can I go there this morning? Jesus paid the price for our joy. Jesus paid the price for our peace. Jesus paid the price for our elevation. Jesus paid the price for our being filled with the Spirit. I'm so glad he counted it a joy to go to that cross to die for me. 
to die for you. Am I right about it this morning? Can I go a little further this morning? Hosea chapter 3 and verse number 3. The Bible says, And I said unto her, Thou shalt abide for me. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Somebody shout many days. And thou shalt not play the harlot. Come on, somebody. And thou shalt not be for another man. He's laying down the law right now. Come on, somebody. So will I also be for thee. Does your Bible say that? After acquiring her legally, acquiring her legal possession, after buying her back, after her redemption, Hosea tells her no more adultery, no more adulterous lifestyle, no more men in your life. I'm your only one. I'm your only lover. You're going to stay home and love me. And I'm going to love you. And we're going to love each other. We're going to have a fellowship together. We're going to have a relationship together. I love you. And you love me. The two become one. Am I there this morning? Yes, sir. Hosea was not popular in Israel this is not popular talk <laughs> Hosea told Israel you become a brothel as a nation anything goes you have turned to idolatry you have turned to other lovers you have turned to other gods you've turned away from the true God to your own God You've played the harlot, but it's time for you to come home now and stay at a home and stay with me. But I discovered something from Reverend Dr. Bobo. Uh, he used to say there's a high cost for low living. To your neighbor, neighbor, it ain't worth it. Can I back it up this morning? There's a high cost for low living. Can I go there this morning? Hosea chapter 3 and verse number 4. The Bible says, For the children of Israel shall abide many days without a king. Somebody shout, without. without. <laughs> and without a prince. Somebody shout, without. without. <laughs> and without a sacrifice. Somebody shout, without. without. <laughs> and without an image. Somebody shout, without. without. <laughs> And without an ephah, somebody shout without. And without teraphim, somebody shout without. Without, without, without. Every detail in verse 4 is fulfilled in its accuracy. We realize that God is speaking and his word won't fall down to the ground. It accomplished that which he pleases. He knows the end from the beginning. Am I right about it, saint? Israel shouted, give me Caesar. And they shouted, crucify Jesus. So the Lord said, okay, okay, that's what you want? <laughs> well, God says to Israel, you're going to be without a king, without a prince, without a sacrifice, without a pillar, without an ephod, without a teraphim. You're not going to have any type of civil government. No king and no priest. You're going to be without sacrifice. You're not going to have a temple. Your temple is going to be destroyed. In AD 70, it was destroyed. No idolatry. I'm going to purge idolatry out your system. Come on. I'm going to purge those lovers out your system. I'm going to send you into captivity till I drain them out of you. I'm going to send you into Babylonia. I'm going to send you into Persia. I'm going to send you into Rome. When I get through with you, you're going to be through with idolatry, through with your lovers. Can I go there this morning? Well, as I get ready to look at a landing here, Come on, 
Help me, Holy Ghost. I see the little descent here. Dr. Jackson and Hudson, uh, Neil and Russell and Dr. Dove. I starting to see a descent here. Come on. Well, as hopeless as it looked for Israel. Yes, sir. As hopeless as it looked for Gomer. As hopeless as it looks for sinners. God still can raise the dead. Yes, sir. Am I right about it? God still can give life to a dead situation. God still can turn dead things around. God still can breathe life into dry bones. Am I right about it? God still can bring hope to hopeless situations. Can I go there this morning? I don't care how bad your situation may look this morning. You may be on a ventilator of life. Doctors may have given up on you. You may be on life support. The judges have thrown their hands up. The attorney said the case is over. Your family might have walked out on you. Everybody might have given up on you. You may be battling with COVID-19. Folks have said, uh, uh, uh. You may have even given up on yourself. But I'm here to tell you this morning, God can bring you back again. God can bring life into you again. God can raise the dead. God can get up from the dead. Somebody shout, take me back. Come on, shout, take me back. I got good news for you. God can turn your situation around when it looked like it was over. Yes, sir. It's not over yet. God still loves you. God still wants to heal you. God still wants to deliver you. Can I break it down? Well, Hosea chapter 3, verse number 5 afterwards well that's the big word right there somebody shout afterwards come on give me a strong afterwards Afterward. take a deep breath and give me afterwards Afterward. that means despite how bad it looked in verses one through four there's a afterwards afterwards shall oh i'm getting happy right here saints of god sometimes things look so bad on the news but I serve a God that got her afterwards. Yes, afterwards. Momotum uh, and parvo. Just a few words. 81 words. God is saying it looked bad in verses 1 through 4. But verse 5, God got her afterwards. Afterwards. Shall the children of Israel return. Somebody shout return. Look how it look, looks so good good right now uh, these folks who are sinning they're going to return and seek the Lord their God and David referring to Messiah their king and shall fear oh Dr. Jack said they turned that thing around oh Dove, Dr. Dove they turned it around Russell Neal they turned it around Hudson, they turned it around and shall fear the Lord and his goodness hey, in the latter days. Am I right about it? Somebody shout afterwards. afterwards. It's not over for Israel. It's not over for the gomers of life. It's not over for sinners. It's not over if you had failures. It's not over for you. <sighs> That's not the end of your story. Take me back, dear Lord, to the place where I first believed, where I first received you. There's hope for you this morning. I want you to start shouting right now afterwards. Afterwards. When God gets through with you, there's a future for you. 
There's a new life for you. There's new joy for you. Just for you. Because God has loved you with an endless love. Afterwards, three scriptures that I'm turning into the hands of Dr. Jackson. That minister to you in song, and then I'm going to pray for you. God has a word for you. Some of you have been going through and you, you hear all the things on the news. Hurricanes. Fires. COVID-19. Racism. Fightings. Killings. There's still hope for us as a nation. God loves us. Take me back. It's time to turn back to God and come home. Three scriptures. Sister Hudson, I want to look at is Isaiah 40 and 31. But they that wait, Dr. Dove, upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Russell and Neil. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. But says Hudson, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint, Dr. Jackson. Yes, sir. Then David said in Psalms 27, 14, wait. Somebody give me a wait. Wait. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he shall strengthen thy heart. Can I bring you a word this morning? Wait, I say, on the Lord. My last scripture, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 10. I got, I got an after in my spirit. All that's going on, all that's going on, COVID-19, hurricanes and fires and fighting and division and hatred and animosity and racism. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory by Christ, by Christ Jesus. Here's the big word I love. After. Put that in your spirit. After that, ye have suffered a while, and we have suffered as a nation. He'll make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. Take me back. Dear Lord, Dr. Jackson, blesses in song, then I will pray for you. Jesus paid it all all to him I owe Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it white as snow. Jesus paid it all, all to him. I owe sin had left the crimson stain. Hallelujah, Lord. He he washed it white as snow. 
I can hear the Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small, child of weakness, watch and pray, and find me in thine all and all. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He who was why as snow give God praise is how he washed it is white as snow every head bowed in the audience every eye closed whether you're in the kitchen the living room the bedroom the front room back room outside let us go to the Lord in prayer take me back dear Lord take me back to the place where I first received you. Take me back to the place where I first believed. Lord, take us back to the place of the founding fathers who said, in God we trust. Take our nation back, Lord, to be a nation of faith, a nation believing in God. If my people called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from the wicked ways then will I hear from heaven forgive their sins and heal the land heal our families Lord heal the families of the nation that we won't be a Red state, blue state, but a United States. Yes, sir. United together in love, in one accord, in harmony, Lord, loving each other. Stand on the foundation of in God we trust. Belief in Jesus Christ. Heal, Lord, the, the storms and the rain and the hurricanes and the fire and the pestilence and the diseases and the COVID-19 and even more so heal our hearts Lord to start loving one another not hating each other bring us together in one accord but on one foundation that is you in God we trust those who need a healing in their bodies Lord please heal them those who have lost jobs, Lord God, and had businesses dry up, Lord, we pray restoration, recovery, and compassion for the people, Lord. Bless your people, Lord. In your word, you said, you have not forgotten us. Bring us back. Bless your people. Keep us in your care. Let your favor be upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. May everyone be blessed. We say amen, amen, amen. God bless you all till I see you again. Love you much. Bye-bye. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. Until I die Oh, I will trust in the Lord I will trust in the Lord I will trust in the Lord Until I die